are you getting getting back to the political vein um looking at the next presidential election and all the brouhaha about it already i couldn't tell you i actually will rebuttal you with this please do you guys actually conspiracy or not do you guys actually believe like whoever's the president or whoever's in charge is like actually in charge like do you think it actually matters if we add hillary compared to by uh trump uh, or even biden over trump like i know obviously on a surface mm-hmm. level right because people will obviously say trump may be better it, which he probably I, I personally probably think he probably was but he does mm-hmm. have a mouth on him compared to Biden he does. That, he's a crazy person yeah no, there's no doubt about that right. yeah, he's but, a crazy person. but people I think the thing with politics is a lot of people look at it as like a greater of two less evils mm-hmm. and uh, that's kind of my, that's kind of where I lie with it is like man none of these people do I actually know how can I put a thousand percent trust in yeah especially when like they're coming up right because it's not really debating whenever they debate it's never actually no. it's de- just a debate. show yeah it's not debating your actual stance it's this person is worse, and we should not go for this person. Yeah. So I don't know. That's kind of why I'm just I try to exclude myself mm-hmm. from it. So I think, in particular, we we are hamstrung by the two party system, right? And yeah. each each of the parties. I don't think whoever is the president, generally speaking, I think before T Dog Millionaire came into play, it didn't matter who won. It was just and whoever sat at the top of the throne didn't really matter. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe in a few things just by how they can present things to the public and kind of change public opinion a little bit. But the machines underneath of them, the parties themselves actually run everything. And it's become the most transparent I think it's ever been with Biden because he can't say sentences. Yeah. He's crazy. And just his corporeal form. Yeah. yeah he's it's just, and so he'll say something and then all of a sudden you'll have like a statement from the white house kind of like correcting what he said and, and like this is our th- actual stance and who the fuck's other, actually in charge and then 10 other advisors yeah. leaking shit to the fucking media exactly that's like, oh, someone with knowledge of the situation actually said that what yes. he meant was this and i think you know? up until trump came in and kind of fucked up the republican party establishment it was the same exact way it was the same group of people in charge during like ronald reagan as it was during george bush it's the same machine with all the power that actually makes the decisions and they just are the mouthpiece. Trump came in and kind of fucked it up because he didn't belong to that system a little bit. And so that became a lot of butting heads between like the more the actual party themselves and then whoever him and his cronies were, whatever kind of power, individual power they can scrape up for themselves to do their own shit. And so there was a little bit of a breakdown in the system there. But overall, nothing happens as far as like Congress is concerned and the Senate and all that stuff without the party's approval and thumbs up and that's the party has their thing each party has their own kind of thing that they're going to do and that's just what's going to happen they just need to get their guy into the top chair i think it might be slightly different if trump gets elected again just because he's so pissed off at the 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 machine of the republican party but only to a point but if anything, I just like the fact that I think if he gets elected, he's just going to go in there and break more shit. And I would kind of be a fan of that because I like to watch the system break. But other than that, I 100% agree with you. It literally makes no difference who becomes president, who the vice president is, who are any of these people. We can get one or two random congressmen elected that aren't necessarily a part of the, the establishment, for lack of a better term, that'll kind of get in there and try to throw wrenches into the gears. But... It's a big ass powerful machine that we talked about this last episode. I don't know how you break that up and remove their power and actually get back to a system or get to a system that's actually representative of like normal ass people. That's, yeah, I don't think there's. I don't. I don't know the answer. And it's... it helps also. I think goes with my fucking. Like, I don't really care about voting that much anymore. Super down on the local level. I think. Because yeah, those people important. affect your shit. directly affects you. Yeah. I agree. But anything federal, like, I don't give a shit about any of that anymore. I still cast the ballot, throw in the work. number, but, you know, at the end of the day, I don't assume my vote's going to do fucking anything at all. And I don't like any of those people anyways. I don't like any of the parties that, as it is. So I don't want any of them to be in power. But, yeah, no, I totally get it. I totally get it, and I totally agree where you're coming from. A thousand percent. And the, it's tough the, to get. It's tough to shake that apathy. The yeah. federal government is easier to ignore. 
Uh, mm. Way easier to ignore. Like way all easier. the laws that they passed, everything, the regulation, it's all way easier to ignore um, because they're just not as intimately connected with your life, you know? So a lot of the. I've fucking been on here a bunch of times showing them breaking federal laws. And mm-hmm. just, it's just easier to ignore. There aren't as many people to yeah. pay attention to the amount of people that are in the United States, you know? Mm. Um, my answers would be yes to the. F- no to the first one that the president is not in control but it does matter who the president is so and i will kevin's going to school us in the comments about why the federal reserve actually runs the country that's what he's talking about i've heard that before yes so i'm gonna i'm gonna let him because he's gonna have a couple so i'm gonna let him build his comments and like kevin cook for a minute and then then we'll hit kevin at the end um so so the president is not in control of what happens in the United States. Mm. And I would, the parties, yes. Um, I would also attribute it to what they call the deep state. Um, And I don't just mean the gray suits that run the actual country. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that there are people who work within the federal government for their entire lives. They work there for 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Those people are controlling their offices. They are controlling the conduct of the people who work there. They're controlling the way that the individual FBI agents, what they're investigating, who they're investigating, the way that assets are actually being divvied out to different agents and different departments. Those people are controlling the implementation of the policy that is supposedly coming from the top. And I think, again, when Donald Trump was in office, a lot of that, especially the intelligence community deep state was exposed because of how open he was with what his intents were and what he was doing as president. And supposedly the president is in control of the intelligence communities and sets their policies and stuff. Um, Because on paper he is. That's what I'm saying. Supposedly, yes, because on paper he is. But also after Donald Trump left office, we got, you know, document after document after document of the different ways the FBI and the CIA was ignoring what he wanted to do. And we're investigating people within him and outside of him and connected to him and uh, fucking domestic violent extremists. And Mm -hmm. they're, you know, infiltrating fucking churches and shit, like wild stuff. That they're doing because the FBI has decided that the actual extremists are are people within the country and not mm-hmm. any outside of this, you know. And so they focused on like people that they're identifying as ultra conservative and literally domestic violent extremists, like people who fucking fucking practice shooting guns the way that I do and like stuff like that. that yeah. Those are the people that they've grouped up and that they're focusing on, you know, during Donald Trump. There isn't a world in which Donald Trump said, this is who you need to investigate, right. regardless of yeah. whether or not that is who you need to investigate. Right. You're supposed to be following the policy of the president. And there's no fucking way that's what he told you to do. Oh, yeah. So I always like to bring up that uh, the troops in Syria situation, too. Yes. Donald Trump ordered all the troops out of Syria or whatever, and then everybody just went behind his back at the DOD. It was like, we're not going to do that. And they're still there. So they're they just like, left. nope. You know, the sorry. president is in total control of of the Department of Defense outside of conducting warfare. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't get to declare war. Congress has, Congress has to do that. But but what they do when they're in theater comes from the president. Like he's he is the chief executive officer. He's the chief of, of fucking, what the fuck is it called? He's the commander in chief. Thank you, commander yeah. in chief. All I can think was uh, executive armed state, forces. Yes, yeah, so he controls what the policy is. Obviously not, because they were nope. just leaving hundreds of fucking soldiers in Syria because the defense department has their own ideas of what needs to be done, yeah. you know? So I don't think they control what happens to the government. I do think that it matters because there are still things because of the way that we as a citizenry have conducted our government. We've ceded so much power to the presidency and to the executive office. They do have some control over things. In my opinion, it's very utopian, but a... <sighs> major and life-altering shift in the executive office only takes one person who doesn't care about their life because they will not survive their entire term and they will not survive the rest of their life if they do survive their entire term. They Mm -hmm. will be assassinated by somebody. But it is fully within the power of somebody to take the office of the executive and to close numerous administrative branches and to then pass a rule or a law just like... That says no one can ever do this again. And a very good example of that is fucking Roosevelt when he did all these all these national parks. He way expanded the national parks program and included all these different lands and then helped to pass a law that said no one can ever do this again. Yeah. I don't know how fucking morally right that is, whatever. All I'm saying is that the possibility still exists and that can still totally be done with someone who doesn't give a fuck about what happens to them afterwards, but wants to see genuine progress and change in the country and in the government. That is possible. They can do that. I don't know how possible it is for that person to get to that office because what Colin is talking about the way the parties have control over the political process, but 
were someone able to make into the office with that mentality, they could do that. There is any number of executive branches, executive administrative offices that could be closed immediately. It would take numerous years for those people to quit and leave and do all that shit. But it could could be done. And it would drastically shrink the size of the executive office and the control that the federal government has over people's lives. the, the, The office of the president created the FBI. There's only one. The office of the president is the only body that can get rid of it. Yes. And, but like we, I, we make the analogy a lot on here that the government is itself is the the body of the government. Yes. If you think about it as a body, has its own defense system that will fight for its own survival, yes. and that's those the nameless, faceless, gray gray suits yes. that may, that all work for it. They don't want to lose their jobs, and they right. might even believe in what they're doing, and so they don't. They're not going to let some random person that gets elected by some weird system that some some people understand and most people don't right dictate what the future of their lives are and the future of the country is no the last person that tried to do that we still don't even technically know who killed him jfk right he was all about that towards the tail end of his shit and what did they do capped his ass yeah he was you know actively talking about it because of the way the cia had fucked him during the bay of pigs that he's quoted he's like i'm not gonna just close the cia i'm gonna smash it into a million fucking pieces because they fucked me over so bad and they're so obviously doing whatever the fuck they want that we can't even have something like this that exists Mm -hmm. that guy got murdered just a few months after that yep you know so that's we and there's a reason today that it's still all classified as much as it is when I would guarantee you most of the people that were involved at the time are fucking dead at this point. So, but it would sully the good name of like the Intel community. Cause if, if the CIA or any, any portion of the intelligence community or even just the government itself off the president, right. The entire system just becomes delegitimized overnight. Yeah. And we can't have that. So that's why I say he definitely wouldn't survive. He, he, someone would kill him at some point, you know, whether he mm-hmm. survived the four years or whatever the fuck. At some point, he's definitely going to be killed mm-hmm. they're, they're because he fucked with way too many people's bag for him to just be okay yeah. and continue to influence people's thinking for the rest of his life. You they know, can't be doing that. Allow that shit to happen. Tap um, that down. Yeah. So, but I, I... Not to sound conspiratorial, but... No. And I... Um, I still, maybe it's, maybe it's ignorant, but I still hold like a small bit of hope inside of me, obviously, because I fucking explained that whole thing that like, I do believe that can happen. I do believe that the possibility for that exists, but the type of person that, that that takes is a very, very unique individual, you know, who is willing to commit their entire life and everything they have to gain the office only to say, I'm going to fucking die after this, and I don't give a shit, but this is what we're doing now. That's like a very... That's the mentality of the guys that started the country. Yes. So I I do think it's possible, especially within America. This is, mm-hmm. in my opinion, the greatest country that's ever existed. Yeah. Some of the people that... Some of the greatest people to have ever lived have come from this country. Mm-hmm. Some of the greatest thinkers to have ever lived have come from this country. Some of the bravest people on the planet are still in this country. Um, so I, I think that it's very possible. Um, but... You know, how likely I think it is, I don't know. But I have hope for that. I do believe that. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Welcome to the south of the streets. Coming at you every week. With this food for thought, hope you're ready to eat everything.